Hello and welcome everybody. It's going to be a pretty quick review today and we are going to play a hand. So shuffle up. What should we play? Raz? No, we're going to play No Limit Hold'em for everybody. Um, deal yourself two cards. Shuffle your deck. Deal two cards. Special thanks to our official sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. Definitely say hi to me on this website. Just send me a PM or something if you want to chat. It's always a fun community. Five years celebrating this year. So we are not playing for anything. This is just for kicks and giggles. See how the poker chips do. Burn a card here. And let's flop. Should I look at my cards first before I raise? You know what? I'm not going to raise. Check. Oh man, that looks awfully Broadway-ish. Anyway, I got the king. Man, it's not that impressive. Let us know if you hit Broadway there. So, how did the chips do? I can tell you that I'm very happy with the modern discount poker chips. Look for the link in the description. Um, these are, they look similar to um, some of these fan of cards discount chips, but there is uh, some glaring differences. Like these look like they're like shaved around the outside. So they're very smooth, the crown chips are from the source that I linked in the description. But these, can you see the flashing right here? You can actually like see the flashing and you can feel it. It's like this like rough edge. Um, it's like that with several others here. Like you can just see it. It's kind of not good, you know, when you get that, those sharp edges around the edges. And that's one of my biggest complaints about discount chips was those sharp edges, the flashing from the molding process. But these crown chips don't have that problem. Look how smooth these edges are. They're lovely. So manufacturing quality is going up, it seems like. Hopefully soon we have some really high quality chips and occasionally I can get these to stand on end. Like that, it's rolling here. But you know what I mean. So, I mean, the quality is improving. One place where it isn't improving is in flatness. So you grab a stack, these are crowned ones. And you can see how they rock. Um, it's mostly just because of the the little labels that they have here. They're just stickle, stickered labels, but they're, they use a permanent adhesive. So it's kind of a permanent label, but it's not technically an inlay. So uh, not super happy with that. And I'm not super happy with the weight, but everything else, like as far as like the looks and the design, everything is fine. Okay, it looks, they look very reasonable. They're very playable and that said, um, I would be happy playing with these. And I can actually recommend them because for what you're paying, they're actually a really good deal. The holographic ring right here, really simple number. It sounds like they're doing construction next door. Can you guys hear that? I don't know. It's bugging me. Um, so the design is very humble. It's just another poker chip, which leads to normal conversations at the poker table, especially if you're home with friends, nobody's going to care, right? I personally, you guys know me, I like things with a little more character, like these Tiki Kings, lots of character, just like dripping off of this. Same with dunes, lots of character. I do not like the fan of card style because we're playing with cards. We don't need cards on chips. And I also like another option from discount poker chips is this lovely outlaw series lovely mold here i like this for character now so the design is very uh, i don't know it's very safe it's a very safe design a little bling around here on the outside of that label the denominations on the chip itself so if the label comes off nobody cares one complaint i have is the colors of the base color here the 25 looks like it's black it basically looks like it's black with green edge spots. Okay. Not my favorite. You get used to it. I played with my boy and there, I didn't, it didn't jump out as like a huge problem. So, um, for colors, I, you know, I'm, to me, it's not that big of a deal considering again, the price. I think I'm um, as far as options go. I personally prefer like competitive options. I personally prefer the Outlaw series more. If you don't 
want to stay on this level, you want to move up a little level, you could definitely go with some China clays. These are more like the weight of a real casino chip. These are some obsolete Cleveland horseshoes. And these are some China clay dunes. I love these for character. You know, obviously these don't, in my opinion, these don't have it, but a lot of people won't notice or care, especially your friends when they come over to play or family. So I like the China clays a lot. Um, if you can find some obsolete casino chips, like a set, definitely go with those. I also like the Outlaw set, like I mentioned, for discount. Um, and then maybe some ceramics. There's a huge array of ceramics. Um, one thing I want to mention real quick about the Outlaw versus the Crown are that they're so similar. They both, they're so similar. It's basically just which design do you like more? Do you like the mold with the numbers or do you like the mold that says Outlaw around the outside? That's really what you're choosing here. So there's not like one, there's not like one that's amazingly that much better than any other one at this price range. So that's it. Um, let's do a quick sound test and then we'll move on here. So let's do some China clays. Uh, let's do some ceramics and, oh wait, I don't want those. Some casino chips, which ceramics should I choose? How about Nevada Jack? All right, there we go. Oh wait, no, sorry, I found something even better. These are up for review. Spades with a Z. All right, Metal Slug ABS chips versus spades. Really interesting. All right, here we go. Now we have some obsolete casino chips, Paulson. Ooh, them's a nice. And then we have some China clays. And there you go. Uh, yeah, uh, Crown, I'm actually pretty impressed with these chips. If I had found these when I was first looking for poker chips, this channel might not exist. I might have just bought these and just been like, huh, these are good. Done, right? Pretty inexpensive. Uh, take your pick. Look in the description for links to those. The Outlaw, probably throw in the Dunes as an alternative set. You can see the price difference when you look at those. It changes every, it seems like every month. And then Nevada Jack Ceramics, and there you go. I hope that was interesting and helped somebody pretty short review today. Uh, I like them, they're okay. They're very, they don't have a lot of character, but they do a great job just being a poker chip. Thank you so much for watching. Visit our sponsor, pokerchipforum.com, and please subscribe. My name is John Hobby.